What is good? Welcome to the Motor Machines channel. I'm not really sure where to start this one. Yes, we have a new bike, but I'm unsure what my plans for it are. As long as it all works fine, it's a deal I just couldn't let pass me by. I've known about this for a good year now. I didn't really want it, but the price was a big influence on that decision. I suppose you could call it impulse, spur of the moment kind of thing. Like I said then, I knew about this and I saw my mate, he still had it. The next day I woke up with an itch that I just was telling me I've got to go and buy it. I just want it. I don't know why. I just thought it was too good to pass up, especially what he was telling me about it. And then when I saw it, well, it's pretty good condition really, I would say. So we made the deal. I was happy. He was happy. And here we are. I've got a 2003 KX250. I was told it's a 2003 model. I think it is. The background on it then is, now I'm the third owner. The last owner had it for about 10 years, barely rode it, then put it in his garage for the next three years plus, and hasn't touched it since, apparently. He told me it was working fine when he put it away, so it's all promising. As I know this person quite well, I didn't really want to check it over too much. All I did really is was check the compression. It felt pretty strong to me. Um, he offered to try and start it, but he didn't have the right fuel. It was just, I just thought, no, it's not worth it. I kind of believe what you're telling me, put it that way. But as I was looking at it, obviously it looks really clean. It looks original to me. The grips feel really grim um, there's a fork seal leak on this side that other side looks fine so far you know the uh, rear shot doesn't look like it's leaking it feels like it oh that's probably where it's been sat still for a while then suddenly gets moved I'll have to keep my eye on that anyway there's quite a bit of work to do really if you wanted to get it up to good condition because these tyres, look at them. They're wrecked. They're probably even the original tyres. Not sure. Max Cross Pro. It all looks original to me. There's a bit of a dent in the can here. I'm not really seeing any obvious signs of damage. You know, you've got a couple of dents in the can that would be expected. Sorry, in the expansion chamber. Got a bit of wear here, they all have that. Underneath, when I was looking, there's a few chips, but nothing major. I still think that's all original. Could be wrong. Uh, what else was I looking at? I can't believe the sun's out today like it is. It's in my face now. But yeah, even the front tyre looks the same as the rear. Bit better condition, but they just don't feel right. You can tell they're really old and crusty. I uh, checked the fluids, well, I checked the oil level and also looked in the water. Not that I can tell much until I really start it. No, look, you can't see on the camera, but it says made in Italy KX03. So that's original. It's absolutely covered in dust. It will clean up well. I've got a bit of that like mouldy stuff that you get on alley. That'll all come off, clean off. Look at the engine casing. That's definitely not original, I know. It looks cheap, that does. Not sure what happened there. Not gonna worry about a bar pad, though. That's in a different place. Got the frame number.
it's just so dusty. It's going to clean up very well. Forgot, but I did have to pump up the front tyre. Hopefully, that will hold. If it's been sat for a few years and it gets hot in that garage, well, you know, you can lose it. Is that a split? No. That's filthy, look. thought that out as well I'd like to hear your thoughts on it but to me it looks pretty mint and pretty original for its age considering it's nearly 20 years old now so next then I want to give it a really good clean spruce it up see what it looks like then I'm gonna get it going just give it a quick run its first start in however many years it's been because I want to change that transmission oil I'm unsure how long that's been in there it's got to be changed first I'm not sure if I'll be doing the right thing starting it with the old oil, but to me, if you try and drain out that oil, you're not going to get it all out. So you really do have to start it. But before that, I'm going to check it's got a spark. Then I'm going to clean out the fuel tank and drain the fuel bowls in the carb. Then I'll check the air filter. And once I've given it a good start and we've got new gearbox oil in there, then I can drop that coolant put some fresh stuff in there once that's all done then i can give it its first test ride and see what i think but uh overall i think this is going to be a really easy project if i'm honest like i said i'm not sure where this is going to go really i just want to get it going have a few rides on it and see what i think if i dislike it i can always sell it if i like it i could keep it but um it's also quite a good investment better than what you'll get in a savings account anyway the way bikes are going up in value at the moment personally i don't think i'm going to rebuild that engine and give it a full restoration or whatever you want to call it i quite like that old look the original and the patina to it but that might be for someone else if i get a good offer that i can't refuse you never know I actually wouldn't mind a 72 volt battery for my Saron and a new back 8000 controller. It was just something I saw as a sound investment as long as it doesn't grenade itself. Hopefully I've mentioned everything but I've probably forgot something I always do. Anyway, like I said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I'll be really interested to hear and I hope you enjoyed this upload. Moto Machines out.